Hey, Sar, how are you doing today? Hey Malefic, how are you doing tonight? Oh, thank you for the hara already. I was actually working on something to try and pose. I was trying to make a poster before we went live for real, but I might as well just show you all what I'm working on at the moment. So that you're not left with empty space. Give me a second here. How does this work again? Capture any full screen. Why is it not capturing this? Weird. Give me a second. How's Lol's time? It's alright, I suppose. He's finally set up redeems from his stream, which is nice. Very nice. Um, Let me get you your RR redeem in just a second here. Does that work? There we go. Anyway. Ara, ara. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to so I'm trying to make a poster that I'm going to be using as a temporary um going live poster for Twitter because Posting links completely destroys your uh, visibility now. It's not, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, I just want to do something really quick. Um, something really screwy. There we go. Use this one. And use this one. That looks dumb. Use the love and peace one. Okay. Okay. Give him a gun. I could do that too, actually. Let's give him a Thompson. We'll have to find where it is. How do I flip this on the other side? How do I flip? Shit. Um. There we go. Almost got... Let me see what we got here. Oh. Okay. 
Probably won't need sponge. There we go. Here we go. But lols, why are you carrying a gun in this in this promotional poster? Don't ask questions. <laughs> I am not promoting gun violence. I am gun violence. That sounds horrible. Actually, what I just said. You know what? This is not a, actually. This is not a Thompson. This is, looks like a Papashka. It looks like a Papashka. I probably mispronounced that completely, but yeah, I was about to say it looks Soviet. It looks like a Papashka. The best excuse is America! Fuck yeah! You know, you make a great point. You make a great point. Check my. This is probably the closest I'm gonna. Well, also, it's kind of awkward because. You know what? Actually, this is kind of awkward because there's no, there's a trigger guard, but there's no trigger. And this is kind of shape. This is not. This doesn't have a pistol grip, so you can't. I can't do what I was going to do with making it being held. You know, like an AR. So what I could probably do instead is. Have him hold it by the uh, barrel, maybe? Have it hold by the, uh... The power of friendship and his gun have found. <laughs> you know it. Um... Let me select the fucking... No, what's the... Oh, I'm dumb. I was picking the wrong hand. <laughs> I was wondering, like, why can't I adjust the hand? Okay, now it's not, it's actually not letting me adjust the... Why isn't it letting me adjust that hand? There it is. It's because it was in the way. The hand isn't real. If it, the hands aren't real, then what am I going to do with this gun I found? Also, why are they stunning like this? I have no idea. Why am I asking these questions? Gun Soup. Gun Soup sounds like a great title for like a uh, light novel or something. So now what we have to do is to wrap the fingers gently around the papashka like hamburger. I could also probably just make the papashka a little bit smaller, huh? Um, how do I do that? Here we go. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Hey Sentai, welcome to the stream, how are you today? So right now we're making a promotional poster for uh, my streams going forward because uh, it seems like the only way to advertise on crap sites is by posting a poster since I can't post links anymore. Or haven't been able to for a while. Lulz has good trigger discipline and will not put their fingers through the trigger guard even though there is no trigger to press. Okay, now... Left hand. Oh, that looks ugly as fuck.
You're eepy, you're sleepy. Ow! Threw something at my face. Thank you for stopping by, even though you're sleepy. Much appreciated. This program perplexes me sometimes. So, I literally just said I'm not going to make lulls sick their fingers through the trigger guard because they have decent trigger, they have something called trigger discipline. So, that's going to be a little bit problematic. I guess since you can't actually see from this side, it can just be assumed that they have trigger discipline or... Oh my god. Okay. Just getting so involved just to make a fucking poster. <laughs> the things I do. The things we VTubers do sometimes. Using this get over this uh, ghetto version of uh, Blender more or less. Poor man's blunder. Just gently wrap the fingers around. the stock or pretend that it's wrapping around the stock gosh i have long fingers Fingers are kind of merging with the stock a little bit, but... Give me the knuckles. I need- I need to click on the knuckles, come on. Okay, you know what? Let's get the gun out of the way really quick. Here we go.
Shit. What's the opposite of undo? Redo? Control Y. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. So I can't... I can undo, but I can't redo. That's just great. Frustrating as hell, I swear. Like, why even put, give the option to fuck around with the, with the knuckles if you're not gonna let me click on them? Seriously. I appear to have discovered the redo button. Oh, that's just great. So fucking annoying. Wait a minute. Oh, I have discovered how to, okay. So I didn't need to adjust them individually. I could have just used this, which would have messed around with the palms. Well, that simplifies things greatly. Sometimes when something doesn't do what you want it to do, you just need to fuck around and find a way around it. For example, go. Okay. This must be that IK versus AK thing that people were talking about in the animation in the animation industry. I I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So we'll wrap that around there. I want to, what I want to do is I want to twist it a little bit. I want to literally twist a freaking... Oh. Oh, okay. Now we're, now we're learning how this works, chat. Together.
Really wish I had some a uh, visual aids to actually hold in real life so I can get an idea of how they would get around holding this. So I'm just playing it entirely by messing around with the models until I think it looks good. It probably looks really cringe right now. Or maybe they're really just holding it with their thumb and uh, pointer finger. Because, yeah, it's going to be awkward to hold it from this angle, no matter how you slice it. There we go. The only problem is um, this finger here is kind of... There we go. That makes a little bit more sense, but not so much. That's very unwieldy. Like, damn. So they're kind of holding it like, okay, okay, you know what, that makes a lot more sense now. Now it kind of functionally looks like they're holding it, but here's another problem. Now it's clipping through my uh, sleeve. Shit. All right. Let's make the, or we could just do that. Honestly, because of the way my sleeve works, it, it might be, it might not be possible for me to actually. There we go. Oh my god, it's horrible. Uh, pointer finger should be back. Okay. Should be right around there. Okay. No. 
I'm kind of getting into this, actually. This is kind of addicting once you figure out what all the buns do. Just gently rearranging the finger bones here to kind of make sense. All this work just for the freaking Here we go. Now for our dynamic looking pose or angle. It's not what I wanted. Lilith, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm in the middle of actually making my announcement poster for being live, and I've gone a little too engrossed in a little engrossed in uh, the actual modeling part. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, you're doing well. That's good to hear. Are my eyes still looking at the camera? Because it doesn't feel like it. All right, so I think this is a fairly good pose. We're going to go ahead and find the save function, which has been a while. Uh, it should be... Since you're since so since you're an AI, could this be considered an AI generated art? You know what? Technically, it can be, but we are not going to say that too loudly. I do not want to be deleted, at least not yet. But you make a good point. You make a very good point. I forgot what these functions do. Um. Okay, so so I know you can like save all this stuff. Oh, right, background. Some of these are a little too busy looking.
What the fuck is all going on with my foot? Actually. Oh my god. What even is my foot? <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, there goes my foot. Even I know that this is wrong. I, I know for a fact that this is wrong. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. That looks, that looks less painful. That looks less painful. Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Redeem. You know, I should probably switch this to art or something. Since I'm going to continue still working on this thing. Uh, art. Ah, I've been slimed. Thank you for your slime redeem. I feel very coated now. <laughs> These aren't very good images. I'm not gonna lie. Background images, I'm not gonna lie. Just green screen and add whatever you want later. Well, I have something even better than green screening. Why green screen when I can just... I mean, I should probably make a green screen version also, just as just in case. I want to uh, very easily swap images in the background, but why do that? When I could just... Well, I'll make a version of this anyway. Or with a green screen, just... Just so I can very easily swap it, but I could just, you know, add background right here. Looks a lot more dynamic this way, but maybe... The uh, big strand of hair is a bit much. Just a bit. Eh. Wait for it to reset a bit. There we go. 
Okay. How do I upload something again? Here we go. It's been a while since I've done this. This one's actually pretty good. Some of these are a little bit low res. I really wish there was a way I could just twist the world around. Sounds not that bad. Okay, and we'll put the writing over there. Okay, options, ultra, all the anti-aliasing, smooth posing, whatever that means. And now we get to do the post-processing effects. including saturation here, saturation bombardment, brightness, view shift, pixelate, depth of field, lens distortion, lens dirt. Yeah, actually that's pretty good, lens dirt. Ambient occlusion, which really makes the shadows pop out, which is kind of cool, honestly. I don't actually know what any of these things do. Chromatic aberration just fucks with the, uh, is, as the name implies, a chromatic aberration. Big netting makes it nice and dark a little bit. Sharpen is not what we need for this. Outline. No. Manga flash. <laughs> I love this program. Avon hey, boy. Thanks for the Gamer Pride Redeem. How are you doing this evening? RGB. Rain. That's actually a really cool effect. On out. Thank you for the Hydra Redeem. 
work? Don't wear don't work too hard, honey. <laughs> Blur. Broken screen. Holy shit. And that's a bit much. Old movie. Crosshatch. Sigmoid. Sepia. Manga. This one's pretty good, actually. ENG. Width. Height. As much anti-aliasing. Export an image. Let's see how it looks. Well. Eh. It's a little rough. Let's see if we can clean it up a bit. Anti-aliasing and everything has been boosted to maximum, so it's like, how much more can you do, really? I wonder how it would look... Hmm... Let's see it now. Unfortunately, the lines are still fairly rough. I wonder... how I can deal with that, or at least make it not as obvious. Soften the uh, edges, I should say.
Let's try this one. Hmm. Let's try it without the rain this time. Hmm. Interesting. Would it make any difference if I did it in 4K, I wonder? Wow. It looks smoother. I feel like I should have expected this, but I don't know. I'm still surprised. Four K it is. Kind of looks like I have a snaggle tooth in this one. I like it. All right. So, what are we going to do now?
By the way, just to let you know, there should be an ad or two coming up in just a moment. Just as a pre-warning. Also, how do I save this? I guess I can't save like this specifically, unfortunately. Be very convenient otherwise, huh? Oh, you can, okay. So, save that. Save that. Okay. Now then. Let's go get Krita out. For some reason, game scene is not catching any full screen application like it should be. And I'm not entirely sure why. Might be a bug somewhere. There's an easy way around it, of course, but it's still annoying. Like right now, for some reason, it's not showing Krita, Krita, which is uber annoying. Come on. What am I going to do with you? Does this work? Okay. So you can see that. Can you see this? 
Can you see this? But you're not going to switch the creative for some reason. There we go. It's really weird how I got forced it to work just then. I had to like exit out of... I guess it's because it's windowed. I had to go from restore back to full screen. It doesn't seem to work under capture any full screen application though. You try window capture instead. Oh, hey, um, Mar our, hey, Mara. <laughs> uh, well, um, Myra, welcome to the stream. Uh, no, I used to use window capture, but I kind of been using game capture ever since I had a, had my, um, partner redo my, the entirety of my OBS settings. It's only just started doing this now, like today, recently. I don't know why, but who knows how OBS works, I guess. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I have very tiny hands. Oh, or do you mean these hands? <laughs> All right. Now that I've got the mo the um the main model here, I need to what I need to do now is to This will be very simple. I just need to write in here that lulz is live or something to that effect. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Why is it so small? Why are you so small? I need to make this like 200 or some shit like that. It's been going all right, I suppose. I'm trying to get back into regularly streaming at my usual time, which is around 9 in the evening. And I was trying to make a, quickly make a poster to announce that I was even live before going live, and that did not happen. So instead, I've just been streaming myself working on um, some YouTuber posing programs. I have, an, I have an idea. There we go. Might play some video games after this. I don't know what yet, though. Doing text and Krita is so hard. I know, right? But I managed to get it to work one way or another. Why is it so fucking small? Seriously. There. If I were to turn this into a poster, it should be fairly obvious what I'm trying to say, right?
There we go. You got the Glock on your Yari? <laughs> I wish. Instead, uh, the first gun that I found that, that I found in the settings appears to be a Papasha, a Papasha, so I decided to use that instead. I originally wasn't even going to include a gun, but then another one of my followers mentioned that I should totally give myself a gun. And I gotta say, after I spent a good 15 minutes learning how to pose fingers, just so it sort of looks like I'm holding it loosely, um, it does seem to add a little something, I feel. What do you think? Is this eye-catching enough? Are people going to want to look at this and be like, Oh, Lawler is, a lot, is live. I should go see... I should go to the website and go to Twitch and go check out what it is they're messing with. It says, come to my stream or else. Good. As intended. As intended. Nothing says I love you like a old school World War II Soviet era submachine gun. I know there's still going to be people who be like, I don't want to type. I, it takes too much too long to type in twitch.tv as slash lols time onto my web browser. I'm just going to click away. But you know what? We work with what we got. It's either you put in a link and hope that people will see the link and will see the link and be able to click on the link to go to the website, or you create a post, an eye-catching poster, which won't get suppressed by the algorithm, and people will see it and are like, hmm, hmm, a femboy is online. I should go check them out. But now that this is finally done, about an hour and ten minutes into the stream, I finally get to announce I'm actually live. <laughs> uh. Seriously though, Twitter pisses me off. It's hard to use. It's actually difficult to use now. It's not even worth my time anymore. But there are going to be people still there that are going to be continue using Twitch or Twitter in spite of everything. So it would suck to abandon them just because I've fled to VT Social. <laughs> All right, we're posting the... Finally, I've posted the poster showing that I am posting online. Bird app is ass, but necessary. Indeed. Indeed. All right, I've posted it on to... Twitter. And now let's go ahead and post a copy on to VT Social. Thank you. 
Now, the other important question, what else am I going to do with this evening? It's only 10 in the evening. Only have time to play video or to fuck around and find out. I might just choose something at random, to be honest. I did get a couple new games from the Steam sale. But I've been kind of taking a break from fighting games and other stuff lately. I might play more, more, more Nightmare Reaper since that's been pretty fun. Or I could try a Nebulous Fleet Command, which is kind of like a mixture of Homeworld and other more serious military simulators. Fighting games? Yeah. Fighting games are kind of a big thing for me. I t tried to participate in the VTuber fighting game tournaments every Friday, although I've been on a hiatus for a time being. Do you play fighting games? Right now I'm just waiting for a VT Social to load my... to uh, Upload my... Oh, it timed out. Fuck. I guess they decided this image is too big. How big is this image anyway? Oh, it's only 8 megs. That's not that big. Yeah, uh, there's actually a, there's an entire community Discord just for VTuber fighting game players, and they have tournaments every Friday, which they vote on the fighting game, uh, the previous on that during that previous weekend. This Friday is going to be Idol Showdown. If you like, I could send you a link to the uh, Discord if you want to meet other people. It's very specifically a VTuber fighting game Discord, and the tournaments are only for VTubers. Okay, let me get you a link really quick, and I'll post it here in chat. There you go. Enjoy. I'm still trying to upload my poster to VT Social, but it seems to be failing. Uh, I don't think VT Social likes me trying to upload 8 megabyte large Freaking. Yeah, it keeps dying. 504 gateway timeout. I'm going to make a smaller version, a lower res version really quick. Save as... High quality JPEG? I don't fucking know. Um... Never mind. Okay, we'll save it as a PNG. Uh, again, no, uh, stream announce low res compression, about half compression. Okay, let's see how this one looks. Stream announce low resolution. This is, wow, it was seven megabytes. Wow, such compression. Very smaller. Well, as long as it loads. I know, right? But for some reason, VT Social refuses to let me upload this. Thank you. 
<sighs> Naturally, the poster I just posted showing that I was live has already died. Or has vanished into the sea of other garbage. But, eh, whatever. It's been sent. It's in the algorithm's hands now, which is to say, it will still go to the bottom of the shit pile. What the hell happened to my goddammit Twitter? Let me just restart VT Social and see if that changes anything. Wait, what's still not working? You mean the, uh... Yeah, it still did not upload to VT Social for whatever reason. Oh, yeah. It might be because I mean eight megs is like nothing, right? Oh well. Let's get something done today, huh? Well, I suppose we already got something done today. Let's go f do something else for the next couple hours or so that is reasonably more enjoyable than staring at a copy of Krita. Presuming any of this works properly. Since it's a Monday, we typically play indie games on Mondays, but... I don't feel like finish it continuing the rest of Valhalla right now. Instead, I would like to try literally anything else. Like, for example, uh, this game that I just picked up, which was... the made by the developers of I Define Cybermancy. It's been a few years since it was first released, so it is fairly, it should be fairly decent now, or at least more, less buggy. I've been meaning to get back into playing FPS games more often. Thank you for throwing things in my face, Malefic. <laughs> Glad to see you're still with us. Oh. It's 
stream update info. Ah. Oh well, I went ahead and sent the post anyway since I without the image. We'll have to try again next time, I suppose. It's between this and Button City, and of course I picked the one that was mature rated. Am I right? Caution, this game contains explosions and flashing lights. It may not be suitable for people with photosensitive conditions. Oh yeah, mature adult game time. You bet. I never played this game before, but I'm fairly familiar with what it entails, I think. I guess we're about to find out, huh? Also, I totally forgot to switch this. This sprawling empire is powered by hive worlds. Gargantuan planets have been destroyed. Gotta say, you can't fault the cinematics. Necromunda is the greatest hive world in all of the Imperium. With cities that rise from the ash wastes. Like sheer mountain peaks. Spire of Spire, tower upon tower, the hives climb so far above the poisoned clouds, they cleave the heavens. And what nightmares may come in these hives. Oh man. Where humanity has been allowed to grow. It is struggling with my VTuber avatar. Might have to reduce the frame rate later. Well, hello, beautiful. Oh man, yeah, this is kind of intense. It is struggling, even with a rig as beefy as mine. Temps of the graphics card are sitting at 82 Celsius, even though the load's not that high. Processor usage is at 30%. I do not regret getting 70 gigs worth of RAM. Well, 64 gigs worth of RAM at all. Hey, Thick Link. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we just finished getting some art done, and we actually just started our first game of the evening, which will be Necromunda Hired Gun. Welcome to the stream. Mm -hmm. You're just in time. Uh, assuming this doesn't crash and burn on us, of course. Okay. Yep, I have 60 big, 64 gigs of RAM. <laughs> Quality presets set to low? Are you fucking kidding me right now? This is low? Oh my god. <laughs> Looks pretty good for low. 
Let's see if we can... Well, what would happen if I put it to Epic? Epic Gamer. Now, if we're trying to base this off of how we were able to fix the issue with Starship Troopers, I could probably just limit the frame rate, right? And that'll be fine. Wherever that option is. Is there an option for this? There might not be actually. Oh, windowed full screen. Let's set this to... Well, we could keep it windowed full screen, I suppose. Actually, no. Full screen. I think uh, switching into full screen might have done the trick because for some reason my model is running just fine right now. Or so at least it's a lot more smooth than it was earlier. With no change to the game itself. So maybe the problem was... The problem might have actually been the borderless window mode. Hey Dokuro, welcome to the stream. You bet. We are playing Necromunda right now. Or about to. Granted that nothing breaks, of course. And I do still see a little bit of lag here between my avatar and the game itself, but we will have to make do, I suppose. I'd set this to balance, actually. I wish there was a way for me to limit frame rate directly. Maybe there is, and I just need to look for it. Yes, indeed. Fine, we'll switch this to Ultra Performance then. Epic, Ultra Performance, DLS Sharpness. I don't know what this one does, I'm assuming it's only for AMD though. V-Sync. How about with V-Sync on? Does that limit the... Uh-oh. I think it got worse. I suppose we don't really need motion blur either. Automatic detection kept everything as ep at epic, unsurpri perhaps unsurprisingly. We will keep this at full screen though. For some reason, this set is set to quality. Here we go. I think that might be our best bet. Just from the... Difficulty is going to be set to old school because I hate myself like that. Seven eight FOV. All right, let's do it then. Launch campaign. The guilders run the underhive. Without the merchant's guild, there's no order to life down here. No one to stop things unraveling completely. You're thinking there's no order down here anyway. The 
future stands sealed. Order is what every ganger down here is looking for. Just an order they can change. One where they can get to being top dog. The big boss man. Not just a pro laboring away, toiling for house high in the throne. Order down here is different. Nobody wants the enforcers, or worse, coming down here, trying to make things the way they are up in Hive City. So we all follow the Gilder's rules. Without them, it all breaks down. It all breaks down? No one kills a Gilder unless they're truly dangerous or truly and the truly desperate are the most dangerous of all. That's why I think we can help each other out. We're going to earn ourselves that bounty for taking down whoever kills Maro Virax, and we're going to put things back the way they should be. You see, we're agents of order, the likes of us, even if we do get to sow a little strife along the way. You in? Trust me. Wonder who's talking. Remember, the merchant's guild has been murdered, and there is a huge bounty on the outlaw responsible. You and two fellow hired guns are in pursuit of the outlaw, and believe you know where to find him. Attack in concert to capture the outlaw and claim the bounty. Whoa! Just right in, huh? Well, so far the game's graphics seem decent, and I am unhindered. Thus far. Ooh, doggy. I have a robotic arm. And I get to change the way I look. This is pretty good, but kind of looks a little cyberpunkish to me. Please confirm your identity. I guess it doesn't really matter, actually. You can't... Or matter which one you choose. You can just... Select between these uh, pre-made portraits, huh? They have some decent choices, though, for characters. This is kind of old school. It reminds, this feels very old school to me, where you just choose a pre-made character. A pre-made, uh... Like, character picture as opposed to making your own. Because character creators weren't really that advanced. You could, they just tried to give you as many diverse options as possible. There's some cute ones here, too. Booba. I think these use the same character model though, because they look roughly the same. In Hired Gun, everyone has double E's, it looks like. This guy kind of looks like, almost like Keanu Reeves or something. Hey, Moshi Moshi, Ace, Kanbanwa, how are you doing this evening? Welcome to the stream. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, why? Wait. The image that I... Huh? For some reason... It shows a different image here now. Than what's actually there. Did something break? Oh shit, something broke, didn't it? Ah, glitches. Glitches already, chat. <laughs> oh my god. Give me the fucking... Come on, game. It's like, no, you must be male. We will not let you be cute waifu. For fuck's sake. How goes it? Um, I spent the first hour and a half or so making a pose, a go live poster saying that I'm live. And I decided on a whim I'm going to play Necromunda Hired Gun. And we were having some technical difficulties before, but we finally got into the game. And as you can see here, it's not allowing me to choose my character. <laughs> Oh my god, look, it's like, the game is like, I will not, I will not allow you to be this character.
I wonder how am I supposed to fix that? Am I supposed to just... Do I have to, like, exit the fuck out of this thing entirely? Why did that even hap... Oh... Something went wrong up here. And for some reason, this stuff here has been replicated over here. That's why it's doing that. Well, you know what? I'm gonna sp I'm going to actually just straight up spite the game because I want, God damn it, I want to be this chick, and I will get my selection game. I am actually that petty enough. But just in, just in case my uh, plan breaks, I'm going to go ahead. There we go. Main menu. Confirm. Okay. Let's try this again. Launch campaign. Delete slot. I thought I clicked delete slot. Did I not click delete slot? The fuck? Main menu. Confirm. You could tell this was made by the same devs as EI Divine's Hyromancy because it has very specific glitches, which only they would be able, capable of doing. <laughs> Alright, once again. Delete slot. Alright. See you, Ace. Have a good night. Oh my fucking god. Anyone want to take a bet on how long it takes before we actually get to play the game? Main menu, again. I guess I just can't delete the slot for this character. Or something. To perform a wall run, press and hold spacebar next to a wall while moving forward. The glitches, man. Extra crispy. Oh, I I understand now. In order to delete the slot, you have to press the right mouse button. All right, all right, we're making progress now. We're actually making progress now. We can actually play now. Anyway, let's quickly choose her before she disappears again. <sighs> We're going to start on old school. If it ends up being too hard, we'll go back down to hard. We'll need to see how bullshit it is first, though. Or if it even is bullshit. Yeah. You sure? Positive. The 
black serpent to hold up in there. Are you sure about this? Sure they're in there or sure about getting it done? Relax, that's just a few issues. It's never always... It's never always just a milk run. Beautiful. You two, this level, I'm heading down. You and the hound, eh? <gasps> yeah. Okay, this is it, let's go. I like her voice. I can see the sentries. Wait until I'm on the ground, then take out as many as you can. Let them know they're surrounded. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this chat. Well, we'll see how it goes. Buy stims. Damn, I look good. That's a lot of blood. Only one gun so far. Ooh. Wall running works just fine. So that's how you wall climb. It's like you have to do a lot of wall dodge, dodge, dodging to get to get stay mobile. Oh, I dead Ogren. That's unfortunate. That's going to get me killed, I'm sure. Oh, okay, you could just spam it. That's not that bad. It's certainly a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more like a dirty bomb. Where you only get a certain number of, like... The fuck happened here? Now that's what I call negotiation. I'm in. Let's do it. See you at the prize. Hmm? Assault rifle. Did I just headshot that other guy? I must have. I passed the first sentry. It's coming in from the north. See anything yet? Plenty. Keep going. I wonder where my mastiff is. How do I get up there? Oh! Yeah, I knew it. That's gonna get me killed eventually. I'm assuming I have to, like... Yeah, oh my god. It's so floaty. Ooh. 
Ooh, you're dead. Oh man, that was kind of brutal. Extremely, in fact. Nothing around here either. Gotta say, you got the world building down, Pat. That's for damn sure. Oh my god, Mastiff is awesome. That's not good. Pick up some monies on here. I think my Mastiff just teleported. Very f still feels like a old school uh, CSR Counter Strike game, not gonna lie. Counter Strike, uh, Sore or source game, maybe. Oh, wait, how do I how do I check my I clearly picked up two guns just now, but how do I check them out? Oh shit. Well, that's one last grenade less grenade I have now. That's just lovely. Med kits, actions, weapons, which I can't change. Whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a bit over the top. Oh, who am I saying? I'm the last person I should be talking about over the top. Already half dead though. That's saying something. Do I have x-ray vision or something? What the fuck? I love how fast paced this is. And I'm already dying. Shit, I'm already dead. Old school is not kidding. It is definitely up there in difficulty. I guess that must be the uh, shield system. And that like replenishes over time or something? I'm already dead. I guess stims must be like your lives. Oh my god. And I'm already dead, maybe? Mediskull. You know what that's about. This game is so jank. 
still, I feel like I got a deal in it, all things considered. Oh my god. I actually can't see what's shooting me now. Christ. I'm getting close. Hurry. I don't like this. Yeah, this difficulty is something else. <laughs> I like how fast paced it is though. So you know. It makes up for it. I just need to get good and not get hit, I suppose. That's all there is to it sometimes. Love how punchy the revolver is. I'm almost out of ammo.
Oh shit. Shit, man. I'm dead. I read it again. We managed to get a little bit farther that time on one life. Loading times are kind of a bitch. Otherwise. Here we go. There's dozens of them. What the hell? Heavily armed too. I'm gonna hold them here until. Beto. Beto. Where are you? Leto, what the hell is going on? I heard. I'm on my way. That's a bit over the top. And I am dying again. Really wish I had a sniper rifle or a similar weapon right now. Really? Done this alone. Knew it. Always work alone. Oh, lovely. Let the brute have a little fun. Saint Ogren. That wasn't too bad. I 
And now it's a little bit over the top. Just a little bit. Oh my god, I just slammed myself into the mic trying to dodge out the instinctive need to dodge out of the way of incoming projectiles. That's how you could tell I'm getting into the game. Oh, fuck me. Should have used my first aid kit there. Insane. Just straight up slammed my glasses into my mic. I love it. Once more. Oh my god. Let's see what's back here really quick. Multiple ways to the objective? I like it. The fuck is shooting at me now? Honestly. Oh my god. Gotcha, bitch. Jesus Christ. Of course it would be a trap.
Machine completo. Some new pistols. I guess this is the part where we get to shoot to equip our hero. So much garbage though. Why wouldn't you choose why wouldn't you choose the one that has the most worth? More or less. Definitely need more HP. I'm not sure if armor is going to do anything for me, honestly. Pretty much the same assault rifle, or auto gun, I should say. A scoped iron fist with a silencer, it looks like. But this one does less damage. This has more penetration, but this has higher range. Pretty whiz, honestly. Why can't I just put this here? This here. Oh, this is just I. I know, right? It is basically just I divine cybermancy is what I was thinking too. Just totally fine, really. These are basically the same gun. Don't need to get that. This is like a modern version of I, more or less. It's just as jank though, or at least it feels just as jank. Took me 24 minutes to get through that. Not bad. Booba. Martyr's End. And we are still alive somehow. Who's there? Oh, you know me. Damn. Jericho. Where am I? Martyr's End. Martyr's End. Martyr's End. 
beyond Thorian's dome, beyond the bad zones of Delta 7. Far from where you want to be, I'll wager. But a better place than you'd be in otherwise, I can assure you. Better than I would be if I hadn't met you. I saved your life. Feels like you did a great job. I suppose it all depends on what you imagine being dead feels like. You seem keener than you should be on finding out. Enough of the riddles, Spire Boy. What happened? <laughs> There's time for all that later. You're gonna hurt yourself straining like that. Remember, you only just made it this far. I'm gonna leave you with my friend here. There's a watering hole right outside, the Blessed Temple, they call it. You can find me there when you're ready. Ready for what? That's the fun part. Finding out. No place like home. That's a big ass sword. What was that? Cloud Strife? Who are you? I'm Malakachin. You may call me Malak. I'm a chirurgeon, and this is my surgery. You're lucky to be here. Damn. A rogue doc. If you prefer. Yes. What did you do to me? Nothing I didn't have to. Well, Maybe a little more than I had to. That's a most impressive set of bionics. They would have been a pleasure to work with, but for all the bleeding flesh getting in the way. Thanks. I'm sure there used to be more of it. Your friend is right. Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. Well, he was right. You should have died. It's only those bionics of yours that saved you. But still, there was a lot of damage. It will take you a little while to heal. And a little while to get used to the changes. What? A few adjustments. An internal reservoir. A cerebral implant. You'll find they're all improvements once you get used to them. A cerebral implant? Where the hell did that come from? From your friend, Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. Oh, I'd say he is now. These bionics, once you have healed, they will allow you to do incredible things. But there might be a few adjustments I need to make. Nothing works the first time. Not when you're working with materials like these, anyway. You should come back and see me. And welcome to Cyberpunk 2077, chat. Money, money, money. Provides aim assist. Make it easier to shoot while wall running. To it deactivate shields. Allows you to cast some, which is essentially magic. I mean, that's straight up to what this is, isn't it? Let's give me some bionic legs, maybe? Allows double jumping. That's kind of cool.
Rapid heal. Automatic healing. That's actually really nice. That's really expensive. It'll take a while to get that. Make people explode. That's really cool too. Gives the feeling that everything slows down around the player. The player still moves at normal speed? Huh. Charisma. That's interesting. Places itself on people? Shit. And this must be your shield system. I'm surprised I have zero in refractive field right now. I'm going to give myself double jump really quick. Or maybe I will not. So I need to upgrade to level 2 to get that. I see how this works now. Alright, let's at least get this then. So now we have shield systems again, which is probably kind of important, huh? That's magic, don't really need that. Okay, we'll save the rest then. I found a nice little hideout, and now we've got a new leader. We're going to take it right back. Mastiff? I'm just starting to wonder if there's a part of this I don't understand. <laughs> Pet your dog and Martyr's End. You get it? No fighting. No shooting. Goliath took out another Escher lab. Show me what you can do for me. Oh, this must be where you change clothes. That's neat. How much in the way of style, though, huh? I like this coloration. Doesn't really change much on your end though, unless you're like, oh, never mind. Oh boy. That's the last time I drink my own stuff. Wonder what's in the gladiatorium.
Can I just run? Wall run forever? I had no idea. I thought it was just short distances. You can really get to insane heights with this thing. Yeah, the red definitely looks better on her. You can actually attach these things to your... Oh... So that's how it works. I like the... ridiculous amount of pieces you can put on your guns. Is that a fucking pipe that's been welded together? It is. They both cost the same. It's purely... 
It's basically purely coloration. We're going to make ourselves the most jank gun imaginable. But then again, I think you could just find more guns later on as you progress, so why would I want to spend money on any of this stuff? Especially since we're probably going to be finding parts, right? So I shouldn't really... I wonder if that's just for testing here or what? It must be. Because otherwise... Plenty of scavengers coming through. Yeah, you think they'd have heard by now. Rust damn right. Stay away. Don't be going down. Hey there, wild snake. I like you. You must be able to read the signs. No. What does it say? It says. <laughs> but you don't need to worry about that. You figured it right out. You must be a psychic. But shh. I won't go telling anyone you're a medium. Here you go. Wild snake. How much? Your friends already got it covered. Elmo's teeth. What is this? He's not my friend. He's not my friend. That might be the quickest I've seen anybody work that out. But either way, your drink is covered. You should go and see him. He's right over there. And hey, if you ever want to know what's really going on around here, just come back and see me. Thanks. What's your name? Just call me the Wild Snake Priestess. That was a very inter interesting interaction. That's the part that bothers me. Yeah, that's her. Old Offwood says he saw her bring her in. Real nails. Hey. So, about how you nearly got me killed. About how I saved your and Batel and Letter. Well, no. I knew they weren't up to it. Always work alone. I should have stuck to that. Now, tell me. Looks like going straight to the next dialogue option does not move the voiceover. Else with them. Yes, I think so. Who? The one who killed Virax? Maybe. I mean, I think so. The Black this dialogue leaves much to be desired. But the voice acting is decent. Who seems to be calling himself the Silver? You knew he was there. No, I didn't. But the black serpents are his muscle. I figured they might give us a few leads. I didn't think whoever killed Virax would be crazy enough to still be hanging around here. So you thought you'd dangle some bait? No, nothing like that. Besides, you were quick enough to take me up on the deal. Maro and his brother specialize in archaeotech. Good stuff. And they control pretty much all the trade around here. His caravan was ambushed less than an hour from here, so I figured whoever was responsible would be long gone and far away by now. But it seems not. Meanwhile, there's a few gangs around here who have been trying to make a name for themselves, taking more risks than usual. The Black Serpents, those Escher you met earlier, and a couple of Orlock gangs, the Iron Vipers, the Scrapjack. So you think they're working for the Silver Talon too? I think they're being awfully bold. Almost like someone wants them to make trouble. And since the Silver Talon is still around... And you think it was the Silver Talon who killed Virax? Or ordered it? Yes. Damn. I had a feeling there was something going on from another reason. As soon as I found out, I came to that's how I found you. Not exactly just in time. You don't think? Hmm. 
that cerebral implant. Where did that come from? I took it from the Black Serpent. Maybe they were just trying to sell it, or maybe it's something that you know who is very <sighs> okay. alive just so you can get me killed. A shame. Then I'm out. But thanks for taking If I were a less generous man, I might suggest you in my debt, you know. But I won't. Now listen. Wanna bet? Oh, I'd wager. But if you live. Yeah, we were not gonna wait through our dialogue, sorry. It's not the best that I've ever heard, and I was certainly starting to go a little bit mad trying to... It's times like this, I almost miss gaps. Listen through that. Let's go ahead and get us some missions. The shadow. That's the shadow. After checking out the artificer first. Show me what you can do for me. Is that it? Are you not selling anything else, buddy? Come on. Guess not. Those iron vipers think they throw me with some big brains. Well, we can show them. So? The two you might say that. Shoot, the iron vipers. Heard of them? Warlock. You might say I used to know a few of them. I don't. But I know who might. Really need to find another airball. This one's starting to smell weird. <laughs> Jado. Yeah. I'm looking for someone, Jado. Anything within a dozen domes of here. The Iron Viper. Yeah, I do. They've been making a lot. Know where I can find them. Not exactly. But I do know they made a move up a steel crop. Is that so? No, but they want something from him, all right. The crocs are out looking for him, so I hear the vipers are gonna try and move him. You know when and where? I could take a guess. Yeah. Well then, let me light the way. Think you would swap? Phosphor beacons. A dome. My card. The bad zone. I'll lay a trail for you. This piece of junk pistol. He just knocks it over like it was nothing. That's a lot of factions, god damn. The Chaos Cults. These aren't even uh, open to us. I guess we'll go in the Keras one. We have to choose our weapon before we go, finally. Light Undersuit is probably an understatement here. All right. Let's get to it.
Gee, this looks familiar. Didn't we just do this? We do. We did just do this mission. This is like the first one. Why are we doing the first mission again? It's dumb. Guess we're just supposed to follow like the uh, path of missions as they're set out. It's so janky, I swear, this game. Sounds like it's warranted. I heard a couple of them died out there. The flesh is weak. Alright then, where do I get these new guns that they're advertising to me? Your weapon spirits are cleansed. Pray your orders, likewise. You gonna lay low here for a while? Yeah. Zerdan's moving the others. I'll show you. Who sells these things, man? Bunch of random money just sitting around. Top of it. Every weapon is a tool. Show me what you got. Show me the many weapons you sell. Shotgun. A plus one shotgun. Auto pistol as opposed to a stub gun. And a sawn off. Sawn off just makes me smile. Range is too short though to be useful. Especially since I already have a pistol that has fair range. At least we can... And I can't really afford anything, can I? Could really use with... Or use, say, something better than just a padded bra. Or glorified bra. Alright. We'll wait for a bit. Let's go ahead and pick a mission. Might be time to go and see the old man before somebody else does. <sighs> Depending on how long this mission takes, it might be our last one for the evening before we called a night for streaming. Kadia. Now this. They did a really damn good job with these environments, didn't they? The sense of skill is awesome as well. 
really feels like we're in a really big place. An absolutely massive and rotting mega structure. That's what I believe they call it. Well, that's lovely. It appears someone was just murdered and thrown off into the darkness just now. It's not gonna let me pick me up. Damn it. I wonder if we actually get to kill all these people. Would be interesting. Prog recalls on the la las guns.
Ow. Here goes all my health kits. Our health kits are ready. Damn it. Getting stuck on wall geometry again. God damn it. Oh my god. <sighs> yes, please continue. At least there's no permanent death in this. It would be a pain in the ass otherwise, so it'd never progress. And the game just crashed. Uh, eight minutes till. Should I try playing that mission one more time? Ah, eh, fuck it. In for a penny, in for a pound. God, this game is jank, though. It's also kind of nostalgic. It feels like it was definitely me. It feels like the sort of game that was made in the early 2000s, early to late 2000s. There, we did a little bit better. Only just so, though. Oh my god. 
Am I pushing the wrong button to freaking crouch? I must be... So I feel like I'm trying to crouch to avoid getting hit, and instead of crouching, it is causing me to dodge. And Unreal just crashed again. One more time. It's fun enough to make you want to boot it back up even though it's crashing. But this is also the sort of thing that in the year 2023, I thought we would have, you would think that we had long since moved past this sort of stage. What I mean to say is, it's not, I mean, I know AAA games have this issue too, especially, maybe. But we are long since past the need for the Sword of Madness, right? It could also just be because my graphics driver is fairly old and I haven't bothered to update it in a while. But still. Once more. Oh, I fucked up. Damn it. I do believe she just exploded. Pog. That was very satisfying just now. Oh my god. If this game crashes again, I'm gonna be pissed. Not really pissed, just disappointed. So I can't really afford to go through this whole game having to deal with this the whole time. At least, at the very least, it's not something you should probably stream. <laughs> Well, this is good news. I've gone back to the loading screen at least. I like the fact that you can actually shoot off their heads and you really do critical damage. Feels like it's not just the enemies that are punching harder, but also me. Which is great. Let the dog deal with it. Deal with everything.
Yeah, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Shooting people's heads off is never going to get old, I feel like. Okay, that does work. How the fuck am I supposed to run and jump it? I can't even get over there. How the fuck do I... Dude. Where the f- How the fuck am I supposed to- Okay, so he's supposed to go down there? I'm not going crazy? Okay, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Cool.
Oh my god. The fucking detection on these things is crazy. Yeah, I can't imagine trying to play the sneaky like. It's not meant for that. It's definitely meant to be a little wandering gun. Purely like, purely running gun, it feels like. Am I supposed to actually... Oh my god, they're gonna make me wall run this, aren't they? L -yoop. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a bit... That's a bit over the top. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful, though. Just a teensy bit over the top. And... I guess we could have gone around? No, we couldn't have gone around. Just like in Divine Cyromancy, I do like the fact that it's forcing you to think abstractly or think in three dimensions when it comes to getting from one place to another. Even if it does end up being a little annoying sometimes, a little uh, excessively difficult. Who would have thought that old school mode would have actually been difficult, right? Imagine an actually hard, hard mode. Who would have thought? I really need to charge my energy shield though. What the fuck? One thing I do hate is the inability to see where enemies are coming from, like right there. I'm alive, bitch. Fucking shotgun cheating piece of shit. Honestly. Oh, here we go again. <sighs> Whoa, shit. To clench my, clench my ass cheeks every time I do that, I swear.
What the fuck? Hey, that's illegal. You guys aren't allowed to have your own mastiffs. What the fuck? Oh my god. You spooked the shit out of me. Looks like they really do not want me to get on chop that train. You know, just a... Just a slight indication. Just the barest hint. That was cool. No, I'm not. Y'all are trapped in here with me, though. Good boy. I'm so glad they have these big white obvious outlines around them because good fucking luck seeing anything otherwise. Oh, you did not just throw a fucking grenade from that far away. No way. Who the fuck is... Really, bro? Are you for real still right now? Did you just shoot me out of fucking air? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Sure glad I could buy more stims. The only problem is he's eating up all my money. And I'm not making any of this back very easily. But, I guess that's fine. Shotgun users continue to be the bane of my existence. Seriously, fuck shotgun users so much. This was an insane... ...like, section of the game. I can't even be mad because I'm playing on hardest difficulty right now. So of course it's gonna be annoying. Certainly feels satisfying when I actually manage it, though. I got five grenades. I should probably make use of this. Of 
Probably. Why do I feel like I'm walking into another trap? Oh shit. I love how shooting people in the head with the freaking revolver is enough to dome them, more or less. Ooh. Shotgun. Nah. I went through this whole game with just an auto gun and I don't intend to change now. Bruh. Hell yep. Once again, grateful for these green lights because it would be impossible to see otherwise. Love that I just see several skulls all over the place. The game devs knew this game is bullshit, so they had to throw you a bone somewhere. This is obviously a battle arena. Don't even try to fucking hide it. Yep. Here we go. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. So glad I didn't choose the shotgun then. Oh boy. What even is this thing? I wonder. How much you want to bet this becomes a normal enemy later? Wow, that was so difficult. I just circle straight the whole time and just held down the shoot button. And there goes all my uh, fucking... Oh my god. There's another one. My hubris has caught up with me, it appears. No, game! God damn it! Don't get me stuck on the fucking geometry. Not again. Not again. Well, that's entertaining. The 
This game is so jank. What now? Oh my god. I can't believe I didn't die from that. That's cool. How do you fucking... How does the game determine what I get to grapple and what I don't? Are you shitting me right now? Game? Game? Oh my fucking god. Like... Okay? Oh my fucking god, game! At least it reanimated me back on here. Fucking seriously, though. Like, why did that work just now? If the game crashes in this one part, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm glad I got this on sale. This is not worth $60. iDevs, I love you, but come on. It's been decades by this point. Okay. Here we go. This will be done.
Oh, you can use this as a, basically a dash. That's kind of cool. Oh, this guy is kind of fucked up. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Anyway, it was so sick. Oh my god. I guess this is the part where the shotgun would have been in handy. Open this rust door. Are you fucking for real right now? Thank you, doggo. Of course, I can't buy any more. Well, this is a greatly modified assault rifle, or auto auto gun, I should say. Hope it's worth it. And it replaced my handgun. I'm kind of upset. Oh wait, there it is. Oh, I actually have access to. It's not the same gun at all, is it? Or is it? It's basically an auto gun that's been turned into a AR. Cool. That's not a person, is it? That's kind of tripping me up. Once again, I am so glad that they light up, that everyone's just highlighted.
Go, please, doggo. Do your job, for fuck's sake. I guess you could just distract him, too. It's not like he can die or anything. I'm such a terrible pet owner. Oops. Kinky. My dude's in a high security freaking Iron Maiden. Iron Vipers want with you so bad. Who are you, Skinny? Where are my stim dogs? Never mind who I am. What do the Iron Vipers want with you? Those dumb Orlocks, they just don't want to fight like. No, they like fighting just fine. They'd have killed you already if they wanted you out of the way. They're working for the Silver Talon. You know that name. Huh? Last chance. Who is the Silver Talon? What do the Iron Vipers want with you? You really do ask some questions, don't you? Tell me! I'm getting out of here. You ought to too, Skinny. This train is headed for all our territory. Said it. Go through all our troubles just to get this guy out of prison and he's not gonna even tell us what we need to know. Cunt. You found it. Yeah. For all the use that was. Now how do I get off this thing? You could ride it to the end. Where's that gonna take? No. How do I stop it? Head up front. I'll think of something. Who's this scummer? We're at the prow, it looks like. May not high enough. Oh, that's just beautiful. Damn it.
one more time. We gotta be the end. We got to be at the end of this chapter, please. Please, 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 please. Are you fucking with me right now? Jesus Christ. Hey Chris, not much, how are you? Just playing some uh, hired Necromunda hired gun on the hardest possible difficulty. It is not so boingo. Gonna be finishing up after this chapter though because I'm starting to burn out. One handing stuff? I see. <laughs> Very nice. You son of a bitch. Oh my god. You know what? The fucking Ugrins are actually harder than the fucking than the boss, quote unquote. I swear to God. I feel like I'm getting close to beating this though. I'll probably need to use the Mastiff to draw some of their fire. Indeed, they do be tanking. Probably doesn't help. They only have like one life. Should definitely have brought the shotgun with me. Or because I misunderstood how guns work in this game how picking up guns in this works in this game. You piece of shit! I 
gotta say, the grapple hook is actually fairly fun. Oh my god. Need more gun. More gun. Oh, if I just remembered, I have first aid kits. Those are probably important, huh? Just a wee bit. I took out one of them. I like that I can use the grappling hood to get around the field a lot quicker, which I guess is kind of the point. Perfect. Oh my god. You bitch ass motherfucker. Man, how many of these are there? Really? That's it. Go, dog. Good dog. Good dog. Is that it? Did I kill all of his crew? I guess we're about to find out. I wonder if we even have enough ammunition, grenades, and etc. to deal with the final, final, final guy. Knowing me, probably not. I wish there was, like, more resources around here I could avail myself of. Gotta say, this game is brightest if you're actually good at it. It feels like. And I'm garbage. But I decided to play this on the hardest difficulty anyway. Oh, you did not! 
Why am I still alive? Actually, I'm not gonna question it. Did I kill him? I'm in. I'm going to stop it. Got it. It's going to casually hijack a train. Move it somewhere else. That was a long ass mission too, what the shit. Some new guns. Decent, a actually decent suit. We could probably sell the rest of this. Ooh. Cool. We could sell the rest of this junk, I suppose. Six grand. A half world train. Mm hmm. I'm garbage at this game. Holy shit. Fourteen stems used. I'm a very low level bounty hunter. Imperial taxes are killing me as well. That was a very long mission, it feels like. Or maybe it's just because I kept dying. This game is definitely the best if you actually know what you're doing. If you don't, it's just an exercise in, well, hatred. Is that a... Is that a fucking altar that I see there? Show me what you got. <sighs> oh, goodness. Combat shotgun, the dog hammer. It is a bolter. And I can afford it too. And also an old school auto gun. This one's closer to the uh, AK style. The panther as opposed to the striker. Bolter, indeed. I may have to pick one up later. And the Stubber, which is basically a heavy machine gun in this universe. 
But for now... How the fuck do we save? How do you save in this game? Shit. Yeah, it's getting late. I hope this saves my progress because I am not playing that train mission again. Of course, it's still on the fence on whether I'm going to be playing this game again. This one I just want to bring up or play up while and after I had spent the first hour or so on making a poster for myself. Let's go ahead and raid someone tonight. Haven't seen some of these people online in a long time. Oh, Gooby is back. Yeah, I hope so too. Be most unfortunate if it wasn't, you know? Most unfortunate indeed. All right, everyone. Here is our raid message tonight. Gooby the Slime is back. Haven't seen him in a long time. Thanks for coming, everyone. And I'll see you all again on Wednesday.